Hi, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, we are looking at an awareness of the week of the devil, major arcana card. And the devil is uh, really uh, the behaviors that we show, uh, the behaviors that get in our way, that create obstacles to being our best self. So it's the little things that we do to trip ourselves up. And so here, this couple, they're chained, they're loosely chained, and he is kind of holding dominion over them. And we allow sometimes our not-so-great traits to, to take hold of us. And so this is an awareness for you to be mindful of the things that trip you up. And for some, that could be related to substance, be related to, uh, you know... Uh, sexual shenanigans. It could be materialism and being an impulsive shopper. It could be someone who's obsessed or perhaps, you know, uh, finds comfort through lying. There are so many ways that we can really get in our own way. And so your awareness for this week is to be thinking about the things that you do that really hold you back. With this couple here, you know, they could, if they thought about it and had the strength and had the desire or the willpower, they could step and get out of those chains and move forward. So it's something for you to think about is taking a step toward reducing or minimizing a behavior that doesn't help you. So then we have the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords, we see the woman here blindfolded sitting on her stone bench with these two giant swords crossing her heart. Often, twos are about decisions, and this could be a fork in the road for you. It could be a choice that you have to make. Um, you've come to a crossroads, and you don't know how to deal with it. You may not have enough information. You may not feel confident in your ability to decide right now, but you feel perhaps that you can't make this decision or that you're just unwilling to deal with it at this time. So, you know, looking at this devil card and the limiting behaviors, you know, you may be coming up with some decisions that you have to make and you're thinking, I just can't do this now. You know, if I need help, I'm not ready at this time. And, you know, there will perhaps be a day when, when the blindfold comes off but there's a real sense here that you are unable and unwilling to make a decision. And perhaps that decision relates to some of your own behaviors and actions. So in terms of guidance, we have the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands brings the sense of protecting yourself, of being ready for whatever's next. And you can see he's a wounded warrior and he's standing tall and he, he maybe looks a little uncertain. He looks a little wary because he's probably been through it all. And, and, you know, seeing the devil here and the two of swords, perhaps there's something that's going on with you that you might feel like you've seen it all too. And here you are, you're like waiting for the, for the next shoe to drop. The good news about the Nine of Wands is that it's close to completion. It is also a sense of showing perseverance and grit and determination. And so while you may be bloodied or bruised from the experience or the scenario, you are going to be able to keep standing where others may quit and may lay down that wand. Here you're going to keep at it and hopefully until you reach a conclusion. So you know, that's, I feel like that that's a positive move here from, you know, having a hard time making a decision or feeling stuck, not wanting to deal with something, to here where you really are having to deal with something. And you're going to keep at it and you're going to be tough and you're going to find a way through it. So as part of this wands energy of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, here we have the, the eight of wands. 
and the eight of wands indicates news coming to you or some type of communication. So whether you have to make a decision quickly, as you can see, the wands are in midair and that suggests things are moving rapidly, swiftly. You might have to have a quick turnaround for something coming up, a question, an opportunity, an invitation. When we see the eight of wands, it's often a sign that you're quite, uh, you got a lot, you got a lot on your plate, whether it's your work or your relationship or your hobbies or projects that you're starting. This is a sense of really having a sense of feeling, um, quite busy, quite active. You also could be social this week of getting together with people, but with the eight of wands, there's a sense here of opportunities or decisions to be made and communication coming through to you either by text, email, you know, all the assorted ways that we get in touch with each other. Wow. So we have the three of wands. So we have more wand energy, passion, excitement, ambition, will. I think that there's a real sense that you want to do things here that you want to move forward. This three of wands, it's a card of exploration. It's a card of the big picture of seeing your future and, and visualizing how it may be. This is along the stage of creation and manifesting. So here, this finely dressed merchant is looking out over the land, resting his hand on the wand, and he's thinking about what may come. And so there's a sense whether this is real travel for you or you know, business opportunities abroad. It could certainly be the idea of showing leadership and having the grand plan, the master plan of what you want to do. And so you may be hoping, you know, here's a three of wands. You, this may, as you think about your bigger picture, it may help you make decisions. And then we have here the, the two of pentacles. And this two of pentacles, it's about juggling all the activities and everything going on in your life, obligations, commitments, relationship commitments, bills to pay, you know, debt, everything, everything coming into play with this. And you know, it's quite a dance that you have to do in order to not drop the pentacles and this little infinity symbol, you know, the, the art of juggling doesn't go away. It's something that you're always going to have to do regardless of, you know, if it's a good day or bad day, there's always this sense of juggling. And again, a two card about decisions. So for you this week, you are thinking about decisions that you have to make. These decisions could revolve around behaviors that you have, or perhaps uh, a mate or a partner that some third party or some something, something is affecting your life and you have some decisions maybe that you don't want to deal with that you are ultimately going to have to deal with. Whoops. I put these here. Um, these decisions may, you may have to make them quickly. There's going to be some continued, uh, communication coming your way and you're getting ready for what's next. You're feeling strong and you're feeling determined to handle whatever's coming next. But again, a true sense of balance for you of trying to keep the balance, trying not to drop anything along with making decisions. So let's go ahead and choose a meditation point or a focus area for the week. The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. Well, that is an interesting thought uh, because it's really releasing your thoughts and maybe just channeling and opening up what the universe believes you need instead of really focusing on the, uh, I want this or I want that. It's just perhaps asking for general guidance and prayer of um, uni universe, please take care of me. Look out for me, for my health, for my loves, for my family. 
So very interesting thought as we meditate and as we pray. So now I'm going to choose a card for spirit or emotional spiritual self. Reach out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. So I get a real sense here that perhaps the communication has to do with accepting support or communicating that you need support and again reaching out for challenging situations involving the devil or the inability to make a decision that someone may be able to give you good counsel to help you move forward and to protect yourself. And finally, I'm going to choose a card for love and we will see what the messages are for love. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So again, attraction, what we give out is what we get back. And you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And that's perhaps a nice area to focus on if you feel overwhelmed with decisions to be having be made or you know, dealing with things that are, that are limiting you and the attraction, you know, enjoying this moment fully as you are clear on what it is that you want to do, then you're going to be able to tap into and enjoying that moment fully. So Pisces, this is what I have for you for the week. And I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope that you have a great week and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.